BNP is a lab you're going to see very often in clinical, uh, in nursing school and on nursing school exams, and just throughout your life as a nurse. So let's talk about what BNP is and why we run this lab. First of all, BNP stands for brain type natriuretic peptide. The reason it's called brain type natriuretic peptide is that it was first discovered in the brains of, of some animals. However, we use BNP or brain type natriuretic peptide lab to assess for heart failure. Okay, the reason we use this lab to assess for heart failure is because BNP is very specific to the ventricles of the heart, okay, our lower chambers of the heart. And what happens is, as the ventricles are stretched, BNP is released from the ventricles into the system. Okay, so if, if our patient is experiencing heart failure where they're having this volume overload in the heart, imagine those ventricles stretching and stretching and stretching and being overworked. And as they continue to stretch, this BNP is released. So we can use BNP to determine the amount of stretch or the amount of stress on the ventricles of the heart. The more stretch, the more stress the heart, the higher the level of the BNP. Normal values, we want BNP to be under 100. For patients who are experiencing moderate heart failure, you would see levels between 100 and 300. For patients with more severe heart failure, you would see it up to 900. Now I've seen BNP levels over 4,000, over 5,000 in patients who have very severe heart failure and are very sick and are very volume overloaded. So, but in a healthy adult, you're wanting the value to be under 100. As our ventricles become stretched, they are going to release BNP. The more stretch, the more stress on the ventricles of the heart, the more they're going to release this into the system. We want it to be under 100. As we stress the heart out, it's going to release it. It's going to release more and more. As it gets over 100, 100 to 300, it's moderate heart failure. Over 300, severe heart failure. And then over 900, it's, you know, it's very severe heart failure. Our patient is very sick. So that's really what BNP is. That's how it works. Just think of the heart, okay? BNP, you're thinking heart. You're thinking heart failure. You're thinking volume. And normal levels are going to be under 100.